Well, hello, it's Stormy, and today I am back with another Azure tutorial. Today we are going to be working in Active Directory, so we are going to develop a virtual machine, and we are going to go ahead and add Active Directory onto that virtual machine for us to be able to use it on the cloud. So let's begin. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to set up a resource in Azure. And so we need to go to create a resource. I'm going to go to resource groups. Resource group. Create. Resource group name is going to be AD dash lab for Active Directory. And we have US, but East US. Let's see if there is another option. I'm going to try East US too because sometimes you get more options for the size on here. As far as I'm um, to um, VC, VCUs, excuse me, to VCPUs or four v VCPUs. So we want to make sure that we have at least two. And some options don't expand that far in regards to the memory size. So we'll click next. And I'll just add a tag just for general purposes. Because when I'm working in the real world, I like to be able to easily identify where items are and tags help with that so next create azure let me make sure i go back and check something basics so expand bam and create so first thing so we created our resource group and then we're going to add the virtual machine to this resource group So let's go back home, check the settings. So it hasn't created yet, is it? Oh, let's see. Okay. Is it deployed? Yep. It looks like it. Let's go back and see if it's. Yep, here we go. So oh, that is it. We were already inside. Okay. All right, so now we need to create our domain controller and that's going to be our first virtual machine so we're going to create two virtual machines today in order to be able to accomplish this lab and so what we want to do is what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be using the domain controller to show how active directory works on the admin side and then we're going to have a client machine where we can show how these features also behave from the client side so this is why we're going to need two virtual machines so our resource group is going to be let's, let's go Okay, so then let's name this virtual machine DC1. Okay, we're on the same region, that's correct. Go down and this will be Windows machine. So I need a Windows server. We're gonna use Windows 2022. It's difference between these two. I just like to double check. I'm not sure if it makes a difference which one we use. Data center, hot patch. Let's just go with the first one. Okay, now here is where we need to make sure that we have enough memory. So right now this is only enough for one machine. We need one that has at least two VCPUs or two to four. So let's go ahead and use this 16 gigabyte memory okay and 
Okay, we're going to name this. This is going to be lab user. Let's just take a look at that. I'm sure I'll remember, but just in case. Okay. And erase that one. Okay, so I can see all of my information. Let's erase this. This is from my last lab. Okay. So, lab user. I'm going to do a generic password. Password one. Okay. Oh, this one we actually need. Well, so then let's call this AD underscore. Let's see if this password works. Everything else looks good. Review. <clears throat> so we're going to go to the network settings. Let's check networking and make sure everything is set up the way we need it to be. Network interface. Okay, so we're going to make this here to submit. Public ID. Okay, so this is all good. Okay, review. And create. Okay, after that deploys, then we will go back and make some changes with inside of the network. And what we're going to need to do, we're going to have to set the domain controllers, network interface card, the private IP address. We want that to be static so it doesn't change as we are going through the different configurations that we're going to be doing. And this may take a minute, but I'm going to wait before I create the second VM just so it doesn't confuse anyone. And I'll go ahead. Okay. Let's go to DC1. And the first thing we need to do is we have to go to networking. And this is where we see the networking interface. Network settings. Network interface. Okay. So this is currently on DC IP configurations. Okay. I think we need to copy this. We need to go to IP config. Let me just check. This is actually my first time doing this lab, so. So here, and oh, I think this is it because right now it says it's dynamic. So we need to click. Yep, here it is. All right, so we're going to assign this IP address from the allocation from being dynamic to static. Okay, so that's going to prevent this private IP address from changing as we do our different configurations. Okay, so we're going to save that. All right, 
and should be complete and we'll go back and we can see that it, the private IP address is now static okay so let me just go back and check one thing so I can write a note about the virtual network subnets okay so this is the virtual net so what I'm checking for is the virtual network subnet because we want to make sure that these are on the same network And this one is let's copy and it's one note and now we can go ahead and proceed with creating our client one virtual machine okay so now we're going to create our second virtual machine which will be labeled as this is going to be our client machine so we have our domain our domain controller and we're going to need a second one to work from as the client okay so we'll add this to our current resource group this resource group ADY. All right, yep. And let's virtual machine. Hmm. I'm going to use my client one. Same region. And this one is going to be a Windows 10 machine, so we need to change this. Windows 10, okay, the size, not the same, is this the same subscription? Okay, not the exact same one, but, or is it the same one? I thought this one said 164, but I mean 159, but I don't, I don't think that matters, as long as we have enough memory. Okay. Username and password, we'll do the same one. Let's go ahead and copy the password, a generic password. We don't need you yet. Okay. Uh, this should be able to find this required information is missing. Let's go back. Make sure everything is there. Previous basic. Okay. I think I forgot to click licensing. Yep. Please confirm. And let me just double check to make sure everything is oh we're gonna do let's go to the network tab okay resource group ad lab and let's put that as client bam 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 network virtual network and then we have to make sure these are on the same network and do not want Now we have to go back to DC ones lab to make sure that they're on the same virtual network. Sure they're on the same network, but an existing network should show already. We don't need a new one. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 
cabeça. I suppose that can check something. Yes, it seems. Okay. I wonder if this makes a difference. This is a pretty source group. Okay, it's probably because I have it in a different resource group. Okay, that was a mistake. Um, just wanted to add basic object menu set setting selection to the menu of your options. Okay. Uh, study. Okay, now let's review the network. Oh, bam! There we go. Okay, so I had the wrong. I had it under the wrong resource group. I guess the AD lab was. I don't remember creating the AD lab resource group. Maybe I did, and that's why I was there. Or maybe they're just kind of suggesting some different names for the virtual network or for the resource group when we get started. I'm not sure. But, okay, so this is on the same VNet. That's what we want. We want the, the client and the domain controller to both be on the same virtual network. Okay. I think that is it for this resource setup. Okay, let's scroll down, review. Create. We'll wait for the deployment to complete. Okay, the deployment is complete. And that's the end for this video. So we'll move on to the next step in the next video.